Brooklyn Independent Television. Before moving up to the varsity level, most high school freshmen and sophomore athletes must put in the necessary work that's required at the junior varsity level. At Thomas Jefferson High School, they're doing just that. Play. JV basketball for us is, is the foundation of what we try to do on a wider scale. If you look back on most of the successful public school programs, they're bringing kids up from the JV who already been in their program. Uh, I mean, right now on our Voster, we have nine players that played on our JV program, started on our JV program, has moved their way up. Junior Varsity, like, it was harder than Varsity. Like, we practiced way harder, we practiced way longer, a lot of running, just was a lot of conditioning. It's just all about his experience and getting more better as, as you go on to the higher level, and that got me prepared very well. I think it's important to have JV basketball because Everyone can't play varsity. You know, you have some freshmen who come in, and you know they're physically and, and they're physically gifted enough where they can play varsity right away. But I think most freshmen come in that they need two years on JV to kind of get that experience because it is a different type and different caliber of basketball. Box out! Get it out! Get it out! Let's go! In JV you don't get that much attention because as freshmen and sophomores, people don't think that y'all have the talent as the, the juniors and the seniors. And we're definitely underestimated because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, you know I don't think it gets the publicity that it should be. Um, I mean, we lost the city championship last year, but prior to that, you know, we was pretty much defending city championship three years in a row. So, and, and a lot of people don't even know because it's really not publicized that much, but the varsity is publicized. And it's sad because I think the PSL does a great job of, of holding kids to the same the academic feet, standards and, and, and as far as physicals and as far as education wise as they do to the varsity. Good. So I think they should get a, as ample amount as, as coverage as the varsities get. But you know, it is junior varsity, so we understand you're not gonna get everything the varsity get. And we understand that, but when you hold the kids to the Good same job. standard, we have Good to treat job. them just a little bit different. You will look to watch the varsity game more than the JV. But I like JV personally because I feel they work hard and they, they do whatever it takes to win. Success for the JV basketball is the coaching staff. The coaches, they love to win and they put down the players' head to win. So they push us hard in practice. We work hard in practice to get where we want to be. We preach system because um, we firm believe in system and programs because there is a program here and um, there's a system. And part of it is all our coaches work together, not just on JV, but as well on varsity. So all our coaches coach JV and varsity together. So it makes the transition for the kid easier. So when the kid is going from JV to varsity, they're not lost because the transition of coaching is in speaking with one voice, meaning our coaching staff is already in place. Now that I'm on varsity, like all the running, I'm used to it. Like you got to do 20 second running back and forth, back and forth. I'm used to it, like conditioned a lot, a lot and a lot. Everything pretty much the same. It's just about working hard and staying together and being a team. When I go to Voss, it's going to be easy because I'm playing, I've been playing with Self for like two years by right now. He's going to help me out and give me clues on how to do this, how to make the plays, what I'm supposed to do and all that. Well, we feel that, that the Brooklyn AA is where all the big boys play. So, um, you know, if you go out through the league, if you look in all the publications, uh, not to say that all the publications are always right, but, you know, Brooklyn AA has anywhere between three and six teams in it every year. So that definitely motivates our kids, and definitely kids are watching that. Kids want to play against the best. And so when you come here playing against all these other schools, then you know you're going to be able to play against the best. One, two, three. Together. Well, that's a wrap up for In The Zone from Boys and Girls High School. Take care and happy new year. Bye bye. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.